The software offers a set of different dimensioning tools. Single dimensions, automatic multiple dimensions and manual multiple dimensions via endpoints. We start with a single dimension. Start the tool and zoom in your 2D view with your mouse wheel. Set the starting point of your dimension with a left mouse click. Zoom out, drag the dimension line in the direction you need and zoom back in to set the second point. Hold the control key pressed while you drag the line in order to activate our internal angle grid. The second point defines the single dimension and the dimension line needs to be inserted at the correct position. Start inserting a dimension line with endpoints. The first two clicks define the direction of the dimension line. After that you can pick any point in your floor plan and add a distance to that dimension chain. Hold the control key pressed. Complete the dimension chain with enter or with our right mouse button context menu. Move it to the required position and insert it with another left mouse click. Automatic multiple dimensions detect elements under the dimension line. If you draw such a dimension along the exterior side of a wall, it automatically adds windows and doors with their width and height to the dimension chain. You can also automatically create a dimension chain by dragging the line across your floor plan. In this case the dimension collects all the walls and creates a dimension chain showing the wall thickness and distances from one wall to the next. In section views you can use the standard dimensions plus so-called height dimensions showing the level of your 3D building model. If you need to show these values above sea level, you can specify this level as a basis for the calculation in our terrain settings and active it in our height dimension property page.